Today we're going to be talking about the Indie Comics Starlight Cats, in which I got the limited edition Merlion Rising cover, written and produced by Shane Davis and Yanzi Lin. Beautiful artwork here. I'm going to go into the story now, in which we start off with Rebecca, you know, being a typical, you know, young girl, she's being bullied, doesn't really have many friends, and she meets this cat, who we later find out is Barnaby, and during which right after this, you know, during a slumber party that she has with Barnaby, she attacked she is attacked by the Birkin, who are intergalactic rats who want to take over Earth basically. And you find out she is chosen by one of the five jewels and chosen as a guardian of the of the red jewel, in which the five jewels combined will be used to resurrect Merlion throughout the book. We later on meet Princess Lamore, Jelly Bean, and Salty, the other three cats that are pulling Rebecca in for the intergalactic war against the Birkins. In which she doesn't, you know, at this point, she doesn't currently feel up to it. She doesn't feel like she can be a hero. She's doubting herself, even at this moment. <clears throat> so they bring, they bring Rebecca back to their home world to investigate why she was chosen as one of the guardians to own the jewel and to help them in the fight against the Birkin. It ends up being that the professor that they do have on their planet ends up wanting her to be arrested and captured because they don't feel like she is worthy of the jewel even though the jewel has chosen her to be the the protector with the starlight cats so you can see here you can see more beautiful artwork you can see they're being taken away taken to the king of their home world saying that you know, she shouldn't she shouldn't be she's too young she's, she's there's no reason that she should be part but then all that comes to a halt when the birkins decide to invade the home world attack you know and of course the starlight cats and rebecca have to you know save go in and save the day and as you see here you'll see that you'll see uh, prince a little more in the, in the upper right upper left you'll see jelly bean lower left you'll see salty and lower right you'll see barnaby and so they're into a little war with ships flying around and lasers shots being fired in space Things are blowing up, things are happening. Beautiful art, of course. And right here again, she's doubting herself more. You got Barnaby taking hits for Rebecca, trying to save her. And you know, they're still concocting a plan to stop them, stop the Birkin here from again taking over their home world and Earth. Eventually, Barnaby gets really injured, badly injured, and Rebecca blames herself. Again, she doesn't believe that she could do this until eventually she finally breaks out of her shell and realizes she has to do it. She has to, she has to fight back. She has to fight the enemy, and she has to save Barnaby and be the protector that she was chosen by the jewel to be. And all you know, the power comes out. You see kind of the image of the lion in this panel here. She unleashes her power of the jewel. You kind of see the lion here now that you know, I've adjusted the lighting a little bit. You can just kind of see, get an image of kind of how the lion looks before it's fully resurrected, which we don't actually get to that just yet. Of course, she 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 kind of like hates herself. She she's. You know, being depressed here, she doesn't like the fact that she, her friend got hurt, and that she was unable to do anything. You know, it's kind of like that rite of passage type of thing, and eventually, you know, we get to the point where she, she's just really, you know, because she's a child, she doesn't know. She just kind of wants to her friend to be okay. She's just worried about her friend, and what's going to happen to him. Basically, he's, you know, he's recovering, but he got really, really badly injured here. And she just wants her friend to be okay, you know. 
until eventually, you know, she finally uh, gets to that point where she realizes she can't allow people to bully her. And you'll start, you know, see the, you'll see the big, the big bad, the big bad villain who meets up kind of with the other big bad villain right here in the left side panel. And then you come to realize she has her little, you know, when she falls back to see those same girls that were bullying her, she was able to stand up for herself because she learned and was taught by Barnaby that no one should be able to bully you. No one should be able to beat you down. No one should be able to take advantage of you. And she did not allow it this time to happen to her because of what Barnaby had taught her in previous panels. And um, that is the end. You'll see the bonus material here at the end. You'll see the different covers. I've, you know, that's the original cover there on the left. You've got the black and white version of the original cover. You'll see the more. You'll see more covers as we see the page here. You'll see, of course, the Merlion Rising cover, which is the one I got. You'll see the black and white version of the Merlion Rising cover here. And this should be some more material. You've got the John Malin variant cover on the left there. Kenneth Brokafor, two other amazing artists, which I've actually backed the cover. Backed uh, Godlike for John Malin. It looks like a very great story. I'll leave a link in, in the description for that. And of course, you got some more like extra artwork of the book itself. You've got other black and white panels here. That are also in the in the story in the book, and we've also got some more at the end. That's the last page, and these are the special guests, the different cats. I'm guessing they are, you know, Shane Davis's cats, where they got the inspiration for the different cats in the book. And you've got bonus material in the back of the some Birkin ships, some Birkin spaceship fan art in the back here, and then. Of course, a little thank you message from for supporting the book and looking forward to the second volume of Starlight Cats. And of course, we've got the big, nice picture at the end of the Merlion, which looks fantastic. I would love to get a print of that. Getting a print of that would be amazing because it looks just so, so good. And of course, at the back, you've got the name of the company that makes the comic book called Nine Lives Comics. I will also leave a, dis a thing in the description, link in the description of their next comic, Glorious Rex. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. And until next time, I will see you next time.